All right, kids, time to do something we haven't done in quite a while. We're actually doing a high-definition serial review. And folks, if you're not ready for the Avengers to take over the world yet again, get ready for it, because they're everywhere. They're on Doritos. They're on Special Edition Corn Flakes. They're on Soda. They're in the toy section. They're going to be everywhere over the next couple of months here, because they got a new movie coming out, Age of Ultron. Boy, I bet it's going to be uh, every bit as good as Schindler's List. Well, anyway, we have a new product here from Kellogg's. It's a limited time hero edition cereal, which is very unusual because I've had lots of cereal before, but I'm not really sure if I've ever had hero edition cereal, so I'm very intrigued by uh, what that entails. Well, anyway, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the packaging. As you can see here, you get the whole Captain America, Iron Man, and basically the, the team's all here except for the bit players. On the back, you got a Thor making an appearance. He doesn't actually make an appearance on the front of the box, so I'm kind of wondering what's going on there. You know, did he upset the team to not get plaster on a cereal box? And of course, all the beat listers, you know, Hawkeye, the uh, Silver, not Silver Surfer, Scarlet Witch, all those people, not included. Nobody cares. We got the big four, these are the people who sell toys. Let's get them on there. So, any back packaging, not really missing much. Uh, you got a bunch of stuff on the inside saying you can get codes to go see the movie early. You don't really care about that. You actually have a really fun junior jumble here. It gives you a very secret message, like in Christmas Story. And it says here, uh, drink your oval team. No, wait, it says unite and defeat Ultron. I'm not, why, I'm not really sure why that would be a secret message. I mean, why would they have to, like, go wind talkers with that? I mean, it's kind of the whole point is to defeat the evil, artificial, intelligent, sentient being, but... You know what? If you want to make it a code, make it a code. Why not? Okay, it's the cereal itself. Bam! That's what it looks like. It uh, is very... Um, well, I'm not really sure what you would describe that shape as. It's somewhere between a square and a circle. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be an A, or if it's supposed to represent uh, Ultron's head, or whatever, but it's there. You also see a couple of uh, special edition marshmallows there. Which I'm kind of disappointed by. I was expecting to see, you know, little, little Captain America shields and Hulk heads and, and uh, you know, Thor's uh, hammer. But none included. None included whatsoever. So, if you're wondering what you get, this is what you get. Let's zoom in on that. Let's get it in the sunlight. Let's move my gigantic head out of the way so you can actually look at that. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much what we're dealing with there. You got the little uh, square circle shape. You have, uh, I believe, four varieties of marshmallows. They're all circles. You have one solid green, which I guess is indicative of the Hulk. You have a red and yellow one, which is indicative of Hulk Hogan, or also Iron Man. You have a uh, blue and red one, which is uh, emblematic of American uh, jingoism. And, of course, you have uh, this really, really crappy-looking, like, cobalt, purple, and red one, which I guess symbolizes Thor. So you really have to shorten the stick here. But as far as the taste of the product, you know what? I haven't actually tried it. So I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to start with the marshmallows if there's any sort of uh, discrepancies in texture. Well, I don't know. No, it tastes just like a marshmallow. No, and it's stuck to my lip. Even better. You see how they taste really identical. They taste just like your average uh, blueberry marshmallow. But let's try it with actual grain. I'm sure it's going to be terrific. Oh man. Mmm. It tastes like corn pops. I'm, I'm a big fan of corn pops. Okay, well, actually, this is not bad. I mean, granted, it's no uh, s'mores crave cereal, but for what it is, this is not bad. Oh man, I'm trying again. It's pretty good. Mmm. 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 No. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that, that will hit the spot. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. It's a Avengers Age of Ultron Hero Edition cereal because um, I don't really know what marketers are thinking anymore. And uh, the, the marshmallows are very stupid. It barely has anything to do with the Avengers. It's obviously a very pitiful cash on the property. But you know what? As a cereal, it doesn't taste half bad. At the end of the day, isn't that what really matters? Probably. <laughs>